So that's the first nice one of the day. Probably a 17, probably 17, nice one there. Out here at Ada Hayden, what these fish like to do is they like to set up on this limestone bank that basically circles the entire lake. You can do this off any bit of bank here. The whole thing, probably 90% of this lake is surrounded by that limestone and fish will set up on it, especially when you get a year with rain that really puts that water level up and submerges a lot of this rock because that rock tapers out into the depths and those fish will just roam the edge of that limestone. And I'm only working it out into maybe five, six feet and then I'll reel it in and do it all over and just really cover water because those fish, if they're up there shallow, they're gonna reaction strike that bait so hard. So I'll just pop my wacky rig today is what I'm using. And then once I get out into maybe six, seven feet, I reel in and then I just throw to another piece of rock and just work it quick. See, there's a fish right there. See, they just set up on that limestone and you will go through wacky rigs, guys. You will go through them. And this is what they've been averaging more or less, 12, but there are big ones in there and they will push off even sooner in my opinion. Early or late, get those low light hours and try to get a good one. There we go, guys. Another one in two or three feet of water, folks. When you got that combination, guys, we got that limestone and we got that tree coming out into the water. It's just a great place for nice big fish to set up. So we'll get her back. These fish are definitely fighting now that the water temps are warmer. Something you guys might be interested to know is that there has been a climb in the population of smallmouth in this lake too in the last five, six years. And uh, I'm seeing more size variation out here of them. And I'm just seeing more of them in general, guys. There's some big ones in here. I've caught my PB smallmouth out of here back in 2020 and it was 22 inches long. It was giant smallmouth. Super excited to maybe have a little smallmouth fishery here in Iowa because they are not common outside of rivers so it's kind of neat to have that happening here I hope it continues okay guys there's another good one this morning it's probably another 18 19 probably an 18 beautiful fish I had run out of my favorite color of Sanko, so I wasn't sure if this new color was going to work. As you can see there, this is what I was using. It's more brownish tinted, and this is definitely a more green, which it might work better and complement the shade. But once I get into those sun-soaked banks, this is definitely probably a better color. So I'll work it on this stretch of shade. When I get to the end of it, I might have to switch to some sort of different worm presentation to get the right color because I'm not sure that this color is going to work in this clear water on sun-soaked banks. There's that small mouth I was talking about, folks. Right, 18, 17, 18. There we go, though, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we'll send that one off, super cool. That was sick, I love that. Here's another small mouth, guys. Yeah, sweet. 
That's the thing about smallmouth. They never quit. Never. And it looks like he has a hook in his mouth that I can remove. I can do him a service. That's pretty cool. Look at this, guys. He's got a hook broke off in his mouth. There's mine. And there's a similar one. How about that, guys? Isn't that cool? Or that's kind of cool that I can take the hook out of his mouth for him. Somebody got broke off by a nice smallie, guys. Yeah, look at that. That's a beautiful smallmouth, guys, in the slack water again. Beautiful. Can't say beautiful enough. I just love fish. Awesome. If you find yourself in a similar situation where you have a lake that has riprap banks, especially in a year where you have high water covering those riprap banks, that limestone, that is a good situation where bass will stack up on that rock. Ned rig, pitch a shaky head, pitch a worm, pitch a jig, anything, pitch crankbaits, anything will work, guys. You just gotta find out what they want, particularly that day. Generally, like I said, I fish early mornings. It seems to me that bigger fish will hold their early mornings and they will kick off sooner. You will catch fish in a situation like that all day long, but I seem to get more large individuals when I have low light hours, evenings, nights, early morning before that sun gets high. I ended up with probably 70 bass that day. Those were some of the highlights and I caught a lot of others that were similar in size or a hair smaller. So get out there, fish those lakes with those riprap banks when you have a year of high water covering those banks. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all tuning in every time. Like and subscribe if you dig the video. If not, maybe we'll Enjoy the next one. Peace. Have a good one, guys.